Hello children. Children, in the very first lesson, I have explained you about the physical features of India. Yes, no children. The India is India is divided. Our country India is divided into five physical divisions, such as the Great Himalayas, the Bed of Snow, the Fertile Plains of North India, and the Southern Plateau, the Coastal Plains and Islands. The last one is the Great Indian Desert, the Thar Desert. children the four physical features we have already studied under different lessons so the last physical features that is the great indian desert the thar desert we are going to study under lesson number 6 today so the lesson number 6 is the desert land of india that is the thar desert we are going to study in detail today children what do you mean by desert desert is a, a desert is an unproductive land which may be hot or cold so unproductive we could not grow any crop in the desert area so it is an unproductive land okay it is a barren land children then you can see in page number 39 in the map given here the indian desert that is thar desert you can the yellow colored one is thar desert so this is the region where you can see the thar desert so children when it is said hot or cold so hot deserts are dry and sandy so hot desert will be very dry and sandy but cold deserts are hazy and dry so the common feature in cold and hot desert is dryness so the great indian desert thar desert is actually a dry hot and sandy desert sandy land so the thar desert which is in india is very hot and very dry and also sandy this is the physical feature of this desert that is thar desert so let us move on to study about the location i hope you understood meaning of desert we will move on to study about the location The Thar Desert is located in the north west part of Rajasthan and to the west of Aravalli Hills. So it is located towards the in the north west part of Rajasthan and also to the west of Aravalli Hills. It is an extension of Arabian Desert of the Saudi Arabia. So it is an extension. So it is a continuation extension of the Arabian Desert. Okay, children, and it will. spread into pakistan it is called as sindh desert so it will continue see the thar desert it is a continuation of arabian desert and it will it is also a continuation it will continue till the pakistan also so pakistan it is called as sindh desert so i hope you got the location let us move on to study about the climate of thar desert children thar desert climate is very hot and dry okay in day time it will be uh, the temperature will be very high and in the night time it will be extremely cold why why this phenomena morning will be i mean in the day time it will be very hot and uh, night it will be cold because children the sand will the sand will absorb and lose its heat very quickly so the sand will absorb the heat very quickly and also it loses the heat very quickly because of this summers are very hot and winters are biting cold during summer hot winds called loo okay hot winds called loo will blow from desert region towards uttar pradesh and delhi which makes where which makes their tem the summer very hot okay because of this loo the temperature will be very high okay children next let us understand about the rainfall so the rainfall is very scanty less than 25 cm per year why it is so because children the aravalli hills will block the now moisture laden winds to enter this desert area so the aravalli hills will not allow this moisture uh, laden winds to enter the thar desert so the the thar desert will not get a uh, proper rainfall so the rainfall is very scanty which is less than 25% 25 cm 
per annum or per year. Children, next let us study about the physical features. A desert is covered with a thick sheet of loose sand. Correct children? So desert means it is covered with a thick sheet of loose sand and the strong winds called as sand storms will shift the this loose, uh, loose sand from one place to another which will form the dunes. Small hills of sand is called as sand dunes. Again children, this sand storms which are strong winds will bring, will take the, will carry the uh, sand from one place to another. It will, it will shift the sand from one place to another which will form the small hills called as sand dunes. So sand dunes are small sand hills. Understood? Okay. Children, there are two types of sand dunes. One is barchans. Barchans means they are the crescent shaped sand dunes and steep dunes. Steep dunes means long ridge shaped dunes. So they are not permanent. So barchan sand dunes are not barchan sand dunes are not permanent. Children, what happens? Rainfall is, uh, rainfall is very rare but when it rains it is heavy downpour forming lakes in depression. So what happens if it is more rain, what happens when it uh, rains heavily, the water will be uh, formed and when the temperature rises, this uh, water will be formed in a lake form, it will take a lake form but when there is a more temperature, what happens, the water will be evaporated leaving the uh, lake with salty water. So the uh, Sambara lake is one of such salt lake of the desert region. So the salt desert, salt lake is called uh, name, the, uh, the salt lake name is Sambar lake which is in this desert region. Children, still there are few temporary streams and rivers formed due to rainfall. So during the rainy season when the, the, the desert will get rainfall, the temporary streams and rivers will be formed but what happens they will disappear in this sand. The only seasonal river that cross the desert area is Loni. It will continue, it, it will uh, flow through a run of Kutch in the state of Gujarat and um, joins the Arabian Sea. So this Loni will flow through a run of Kutch in the state of Gujarat and it will flow into Arabian Sea. Children, the wells are dug in the places where the underground water will be, uh, underground water will come up in this desert area. When the people will make it out where the underground water has come up, that area they will, that place they will dug a well and they will build a wall across the, uh, this well to protect the well from sand dunes, oh sorry, sand storm. What is children? So where the people will found the underground water which has come up, so they will dig that place to get water for agriculture and the domestic use. So and they will uh, protect this wall by building the wall around, uh, sorry, by building uh, the wall around this well. So to keep the water protected from the sand storms. Children, they, they are, I said you this, so such areas in the desert where water is formed and agriculture is carried out are called as oases. So this such places, uh, places are called as oases. So vegetation, children, which are the vegetation we can see in the desert area that is cacti, bubble trees, date palms and throny bushes you can see in the throny uh, bushes you can see in the desert area. So then I hope you understood so far. Let us move on to study about the life in the desert region. Children, now let us continue to study about the life in the desert region. Children, you have studied the physical feature, the features of this uh, desert area, the climate of a desert area. Then you could assume what will be the life, how will be the life in the desert area. Children, yes, life in the desert area is very harsh because of high temperature, scanty rainfall and scarcity of water. So, the because of this adverse climate, climate with extreme 
temperature, scanty rainfall and scarcity of water, the life of people in desert is very harsh. So, absence of suitable conditions to lie, leave, sorry, to leave affects the distribution of population in the desert area. Because of this, because of this uh, absence of suitable conditions, population is not more. The people, uh, you can see very less population in this desert area. People are settled mostly the around the oasis where they can get water for water and carrying out farming. Where they get water for their domestic use and also for farming. So they people will mostly they will settle around this oasis. So the main occupation of the people are animal raising. They raise the animals such as sheep, uh, goats, camels and cattle etc. And quarrying also one of the occupation of the people because the availability of a large amount of marble rocks so people also carry on quarrying as their main occupation. Another occupation is mining because of availability of minerals such as copper, silver, limestone etc. So people also uh, have the occupation of follow the occupation of mining okay for their livelihood. Children some people lead a nomadic life. So some people are nomads who are called as banjaras. So children, uh, they, who is this nomads? Nomads are the people who will travel from one place to another looking for food for their cattle and to sell their handicraft. So the people who uh, move from one place to another, who travel from one place to another, they will not settle in one place. They move on from one place to another in search of food for their cattle and also to sell their handicraft. They are called as nomads. So uh, they do not have permanent homes. They, they are called as banjaras. So they are called as banjaras. Children, they travel on camel across the desert in groups called caravan. Okay. So camels play an integral part in the life of the people of desert. Yes, my children, because of that it is called as the ship of the desert. Correct. Because camel is very helpful. It is an important, it, is, it plays an important role. It is an integral part, integral part in the life of the people of the desert. They are the most suitable animals for traveling in the desert, across the desert. They can live without water. Why, it is, why uh, the camel is important? Because why camel is important in traveling across the desert? Because they can live without water for many days and their padded feet enable them to walk in the sand easily because of its padded feet. So it helps it to move easily across the desert. So camels are therefore called as the ship of the desert. Children, then the agriculture has developed recently due to the construction of the Indira Gandhi Canal or Indira Gandhi Canal or the Rajasthan Canal. So it brings water from the rivers such as Satluj, Bias, Ravi, from Bakranangal Dam and Hong Dam. So it is difficult to lay roads and railways. You know in sand it is very difficult to lay roads and railways in the desert and uh, only a few cities like Bikaner, Jodhpur, Ganganagar, Jaisalmer, Udaipur and Jaipur are connected by road on a few railway lines. Yes, no children, if they lay the roads or railway lines, what happens? The sand dunes will cover uh, the roads and railway tracks. So only it is very difficult to put the roads or lay the roads or railway in the desert area. But somehow some uh, places, some cities are connected to these railways and also the uh, roadways such as I said you, Bikaner, Jodhpur, Ganganagar, Jaisal, Salmar, Udaipur and Jaipur. Children, let us move on to study about the people of the desert region. So we will study now the people of the desert region. So people of Rajasthan are highly skilled in handicraft like stonework, tie and dye, embroidery, bidri work, that is stone carving, then jewelry making, etc. Their handicraft products fetch a large income to our country through 
exposed. So the handicraft will be exported to, from our country to other country. It is uh, giving a good income to our country. A colorful and rich culture prevails in the desert region. So Rajasthanis have a great passion for music and dance. So they are very uh, they are very passionate towards the music and dance. In Rajasthan, men will wear dhotis, kurtas and colorful turbans. Okay? Women wear bright colored skirts called gagra and cholis with hodanes. Uh, okay? Hodanes. Both men and women uh, cover their heads to protect themselves from the scorching sun because of very hot sun very very hot very hot temperature so both men and women will cover their heads jainism and hinduism are the major religions of the people of rajasthan which are the important religion of rajasthan people jainism and hinduism children what are some important facts about rajasthan state of rajasthan has given here the people of rajasthan will speak language rajasthani language so they will they they are i said you they are very passionate towards folk songs and they are very passionate towards dance and music so their folk dance are uh, kalbiliya chari gumar and um, fire kachigori and some of the folk dances of rajasthan and some festivals and fairs are sej purus gangor mela pushkar mela and the cattle fair are important festivals and fairs of Rajasthan. So these are the important fairs and uh, festivals of Rajasthan. Children, so far we studied about the this desert land of India that is Thar Desert. So now let us continue to study about its importance. Why? What is the importance of this great Indian desert, Thar Desert? Children, the state of Rajasthan was ruled by the famous Rajputs called Ranas. So these kings who ruled the province has built numerous forts at Jaipur, Udaipur, Jodhpur, Chittargar, Ajmer. So these forts are, these forts are the, of great attraction to the tourism across the world. Yes, children. So the forts which are built by this Rajput kings uh, so where are very attractive, very attractive. So the forts in Jaipur, Udaipur, Jodhpur, Chittargar, Hajmer, these are all very important, uh, important, uh, important forts. So here you, you can see this area, you can see very important forts which is very attractive to the tourists all over the world. The Dilwara temples built by Jains and Mount Habu are world famous tourist centers. Yes, this is also a regional place for this Jainese. So Dilwara temples built by Jains and Mount Habu are world famous tourist center which is in this uh, desert area. Marbles and sandstones are of uh, Rajasthan are precious and are and the quarried material are exported to other country as you know. So Rajasthan is known for marble. Yes, no children. So marbles and stones of Rajasthan are very precious and it is quarried material which is exported to other countries also and even in inside the country also it is been uh, it is been in trade so large portions of the dry barren desert land is now transferred into almost a fertile and colorful stretch the desert land of rajasthan is the destination of every tourist from all over the world yes so this uh, desert land of rajasthan is very attractive to the tourist so every most of the tourists will like to um, like to visit this desert land so to see such the ports and their, the lifestyle of the people. Okay, children, I hope you understood the lesson, the desert land of India, the Thar Desert. Thank you, children.